Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how shorts are withdrawing the AMC crypto and how shorts are liquidating Ape and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. Now, straight away, taking a look at this. Credit Swiss Securities account will draw from membership in the GSD services effective February 16th, 2024. This means that Credit Swiss will no longer be able to clear and settle government securities through FICC and will have to use other platforms of intermediaries. There is this is a sign of Credit Swiss shrinking presence and influence in the fixed income market and a consequence of a strategic restructuring. It also reduced the risk exposure of FICC and other GSD participants to Credit Suisse potential defaults or losses. Now, already straight away, this is what we're talking about in terms of what's happening with Credit Suisse. And again, I think it's very important that we are seeing more and more firms right now taking action, taking um, steps towards protecting themselves from what's about to happen. We've re recently seen more regulations. We've seen how regulators are obviously keeping an eye out on hedge funds who are extremely over leveraged. And now we're seeing how FICC is reducing their risk exposure towards Credit Suisse, as we can see in the potential defaults or losses. We know that Credit Suisse is obviously being involved in several scandals and controversies in recent years such as the Arcago capital collapse, the Greensill capital bankruptcy, and the Mozambique debt crisis. So we know that obviously Credit Suisse isn't in a good position, and we know that the reason why Credit Suisse is in the position they are in right now is because of the toxic swaps of GME and AMC in which they inherited from Arcago's capital. And, you know, we know that the reason why Credit Suisse is still able to somewhat operate right now is because they are on the reverse repo, which we're seeing sitting at $513 billion. And so... This is exactly what's happening in the market right now. We see with one of the biggest short sellers of AMC is the fact that more and more people are, or rather more and more institutions are trying to stay away from them, are trying to reduce the exposure. And again, you wouldn't reduce the risk exposure. You wouldn't try and stay away from a firm if you don't think there's something going on. And from the FICC and other GSD, which stands for Government Security Division, from people like this, they understand that with Credit Suisse right now, they have a massive, massive risk exposure to everything. And again, one of the main problem is because of their swaps in AMC and GME, which we have talked about in the past in terms of how big that crisis can be. And we're going to be covering it more. But what we can see right now is as we see firms obviously panicking, as we see firms trying to suppress the price, we see this. You see this yet? Yeah, another dilution tactic that does not look authorized, but basically using AMC logo. A new current price hurts, hurts bad, but the constant manipulation reminds me we were never wrong. Looks like our money is hidden in crypto. And again, this is just showing how there wouldn't be manipulation happening for AMC. There wouldn't be all these suppression if everything we talked about was wrong. But the fact is, everything we talked about AMC, the effect it can have to these short sellers and hedge funds are right. Hence why we're seeing the suppression and the manipulation in AMC. What we can see right now is again, you guys can see AMC Solana. And what we can see is AMC I have to have the Twitter account, which is made January 2024. And again, you guys can see this is not the AMC website, but they're still putting it as AMC. And you know, just essentially another tokenized crypto for AMC. We've seen in the past, you know, in terms of what tokenized crypto can do for AMC, that essentially gives an easy to locate shares for shorts to then borrow and short against AMC. And again, we saw how the price run up when FTX declared bankruptcy. That's because their tokens for AMC will no longer be able to be used. And therefore there was a decrease in suppression. And so every time we see this, this is another showcase of suppression in AMC. This is another showcase of how shorts are panicking. And the reason why they do that is because we have talked about this issue recently. And again, I wanna bring it back to how important it is. AMC accounts for less than 0.000025% of the total market capitalization of all publicly traded companies in the United States, while at the exact same time account for 10.3% of the entire industry's revenue from lending securities, total return swaps equals lending. So no, we can see the problem that is happening right now. Just Take a look at the numbers, take a look at the comparisons. Firstly, understanding that it accounts for less than 0.000025% of the total market. Yet the lending revenue accounts for 10.3% of the entire industry's revenue. And so 
This is showing how big of a problem the total return swaps is for AMC. And then just like what we talked about at the very start about why governments, why FICC and GSD participants are trying to stay away from Credit Suisse, trying to decrease the exposure from Credit Suisse, is precisely because of these swaps that are extremely huge. Just from this alone, you guys should understand how big the swaps is and how big of a problem it is. And again, just how much exposure Credit Suisse is exposing themselves to towards, um, you know, the total return swaps, etc, etc. And so this is why we are seeing the decreasing exposure, but why we're also seeing the suppression happening for AMC and short sellers. Now, more on this is how FINRA admits that shares can be held by foreign and overseas custodians of which they have no jurisdiction, which means short interest reporting and policing um, policing of naked short selling is a sham. Why would the SEC or FINRA allow US security to be offshored and all never settled via the US settlement system? This is criminal. Congress needs to act on this. In my opinion, what good is FINRA if they can't track all trades and settle all trade in US securities? So along with everything we've just talked about, you know, again, this is showing what's happening with AMC. And what we talked about here, first thing we have to understand is that already the numbers that are public shows that AMC accounts for 10.3% of the entire industry's revenue. And that's what's public right now. That's not about the things that are, again, just like we talked about here, offshore. It, again, we already know that in offshore, the numbers are even bigger than what we can see. The numbers we see publicly are only the tip of the iceberg for AMC. We've seen how, again, offshore shares of AMC has already equal to billions of shares of AMC. And again, that's only from what we found out. And there could be many more that are hidden because, you know, as weeks goes by, there are still even until now that we are finding new shares of uh, synthetics AMC, of naked shorting of AMC. And so the number is even bigger than that. But also to talk about, you know, what's happening with Credit Suisse is that the situation that's happening with Credit Suisse that the FICC and GSD are trying to stay away from are what they see publicly. We know that Credit Suisse was affected because of the toxic swaps of GME and AMC. What we don't know is how big of a problem this is because again, they have hidden the files away. They've said that, that they were going to store the files away for a very long time. And we knew that it was a problem because they inherited Archegos and Archegos toxic swaps obviously burnt them. And again, when uh, UBS inherited Credit Suisse, it then obviously had the same problem as well. So we know that that it is a massive problem. What we don't know is how big the problem is. And from the reaction we're seeing right now, wherever it's the FICC, the GST trying to stay away, wherever it's the fact that they are creating crypto, wherever it's the fact that they need, you know, 513 billion to stay away from bankruptcy, um, whether it's the fact that we are seeing the billions of swaps that are hidden offshore as well. You know, all of these shows that the problem is massive. And again, that's why they're trying to hide and that's why they're trying to manipulate AMC. More on this is what's happening in the UK right now. So does this seem right to you? It's my son's account and they say Ape was liquidated at 000 and AMC shares added the account with no buy orders placed. His overall amount invested in his account is now down 3.7k. And so this is what's happening right now. We can see AMC Apes, we need to expose the sudden liquidation event by 212 trading. Apes in the UK were sidelined by instant and unjust liquidations. It's because they didn't have the shares and when that key event came through, either collapse or liquidate our retail customers over. So, you know, this was actually happening in uh, September 9th, 2023. And again, what we saw is obviously what's happening with Ape, what's happening with AMC. We knew that the reason for why they liquidated Ape was because of what's happening and they needed um, more liquidity, hence why they were liquidating other customers because we saw how Apes were still being traded even after that. We saw how, again, in the Italian market and um, another market and another exchange in the European exchanges, that Ape is still being traded. And that's because they needed the liquidity. That's because they are, again, trading the swaps of Ape. They're trading the shares of Ape of um, the actual lit exchange. And that's why they were liquidating other customers. Now, I am curious to what happened afterwards. I'm curious to if it happened to you guys. But, you know, this was just another um, case of just exposing what's happening right now with exposing the short in terms of how in need of exposure uh, in terms of liquidity they need. And again, 
they are scared of what's happening and that's why they're trying to prevent this by obviously with the liquidation by obviously trying to find other means of methods to suppress the price because if they obviously were able to liquidate all apes then at that instant they were obviously able to bring the price down and again if they were able to liquidate ape and buy the apes for themselves they were then obviously able to get shares and cover the synthetics as well so there's many reasons to why they liquidated the apes um but you know all of this just showcases in terms of how desperate they are and how bad of a situation they are in anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time